Welcome to another table side lamp side review of Transformers Prime Toy Cyberverse Line Legion Class Fallback. This guy, to my understanding, is a redeco of uh, the Decepticon Breakdown, but this fallback stands stand, can stand by himself. He's he's good. Um, kind of reminds me of that Autobot Brawn from Gen 1, but really, the Autobot Brawn from Gen 1 should have looked like this, other than the, the Gen 1 which had like really wimpy arms and legs. You know what I'm talking about. So anyways, let's just go ahead and transform him. So those of you who have a breakdown, you know that it'll be the same steps that you essentially take just rotate his body like that flip his legs up after you peg them together which I didn't tell you earlier sorry and his arms swivel around the front like this and there you go vehicle mode comes with this buzzsaw looking weapon which is clear green just goes right there it's really cool I was really amazed about the transformation of this uh, toy because uh, from robot mode he folds inside folds inside to form this really tight package little 360 degree view there I like the robots that don't show any uh, faces or limbs or anything like that in vehicle mode and this is certainly one of them so to transform out he folds inside out this is what I how I describe it when he transforms back into the robot mode sure his hands are arms are are longer than usual but uh, you know still a cool to, still a cool figure Autobot fallback Legion class cyberverse Just a size comparison. Here's Ironhide Commander class, which stands about four inches tall. So fallback is one of the shortest at under three inches. And thank you.